We're all eager to hear the final word from CBO, but I'm confident we'll be introducing in the next uh, little while a bill that cuts costs, stops insurance company abuses, and provides affordable choices for all Americans. Opponents of reform and their defenders, I think, can see the handwriting on the wall. America is serious about reforming health care. For the first time since Harry Truman, we're going to be able to do that. As to be expected, these defenders of the status quo have mounted a fierce effort to misrepresent reform efforts. Special interest groups who profit from the status quo are determined to keep things the way they are. And what's worse is Senate Republicans are lining up against the health care needs of the American people to protect insurance companies. They're opposed to even having a debate in the Senate, robbing the American people of historic opportunity. We desperately need to reform our health care system. I think that's very clear. If we keep down the road we're on now, American health care costs will continue to grow and to grow and to grow. Insurance companies will continue to deny people coverage for pre-existing disabilities, for whatever your gender might be, or because you're getting older. So the bill that we introduced is going to stop this. It'll allow people who like what they have to keep it. It'll protect Medicare, make it stronger. It'll take care of the middle class. And we're going to do it in a fiscally responsible way. Based on this talk in the caucus today, our purpose and resolve remain strong. We're energized. We stand on the doorstep of delivering historic reform to the American people.